smell that stinking island. We're gonna get up. Hey, Palmer's taking the mail launch today to pick up our three bottles of scotch. Did he make the deal? Sure, with the Admiral's dining steward. And, and cheap, only 75 bucks a bottle. Hey, Mr. Billings, the Radio Shack wants you to break an important message. Maybe we got a liberty. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Now, some cruddy island a thousand miles from here needs another box of toothpicks. Now here it is. Now here it is. Sick call. Sick call. Payne, when's he coming? Hey, I got an awful stomach ache. I got a problem. Doc, I got, doc, I think I got a fractured rib. Fractured rib. Break out the aspirin, Payne. Why the flush of hypochondriacs? Uh, cargo work today. Ship's coming alongside for supplies. Okay, let's go. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Take the $75 over to Ensign Pulver and tell him to get me two bottles of scotch instead of one. Wait a minute, that's only $65. Oh, well, I'll put in the extra 10 bucks, Doc, if I can have a swig. I haven't tasted scotch for two years. Okay, but just a swig. Oh, Bacchus, God of alcohol. Coordinate Frank Pulver and glue him together for one day, please. Sure, we can't say another crate of toothpaste. We're loaded. We got it coming out of our ears. Yeah. Are bras that heavy, Mr. Pulver? No, only when they're full. <laughs> hey, Lieutenant. You want to swap movies? We got a new one. Young Dr. Jekyll meets Frankenstein. We've seen that one four times. Yeah, we've seen it eight. Has he got the booze?
me, Doc. Passengers <laughs> will please refrain from flushing toilets while the train is standing in the station. I love you. Hello, Captain. What's in the box, mister? Brassiers, sir. Brassiers? I figure that, uh, Doc could use them as sick call for slings and trusses. Knee pads or something. Knee pads, Doc, I couldn't get those knee pads you asked for. Uh, but Brassiers do. Certainly, that's a fine idea. Open it. The man could clean the decks a lot better kneeling in Brassiers, sir. Open it up! Mister, just who do you think you are? Ensign Pulvis, sir, laundry morale officer. I know that! I want the name of every man that ordered a bottle of that stuff. Nobody ordered it, sir. It's for me. You was going to drink all of that yourself? Yes, sir. Slowly. This is a Navy ship, mister. Throw that dirty liquor overboard. Before you saw me. Now, this is Sucker's Monopoly. You're supposed to cheat, right? Right. You know, John X, you're not only a radio operator, you're a big time operator. Thanks. No, no, he means you're a crook. Oh, please, gentlemen, you'll turn my head. Hey. Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Billings. You're looking for me? I ain't got duty till tonight. I just broke this message and I figured I'd bring it down to you myself. only 18 months old, and I never even saw her. There's more. Funeral Saturday, please try to come. Oh, my love, Mary. Please try to come. Well, the captain might give you emergency leave. Sure, get the doctor to go with you. You can pull it off, Bruno. You're a con man, remember? <laughs> and, and besides that, her parents are dead. So you see, all she ever wrote about was our little girl. Captain, sir, I wasn't there when the kid was born. I wasn't there when she drowned. So I just gotta be there now, or else she won't have anybody. She, she'll be all by herself at that little funeral. We've got two more operators, Captain. And, and sir, I could hitch a ride on one of those transport planes and get back aboard before anybody would even miss me. Get going. This ain't no kindergarten, Junior. This is the Navy. I'm sorry about your kid. We'll have a special chapel ceremony for her. But Admiral Finchley's got his eye on us. And we ain't gonna let him down now, are we? Coleslaw! How could they do that to roast beef? There's a war on. I'm... The hell with the war and the Bruno, hell with... I think you'd better And go the on. hell with you too, Doc. We ain't fighting no war. We ain't been within 5,000 miles of the enemy. Nobody needs us. We're a joke. Captain, my kid died because I was delivering potato chips to some admiral that don't want any more. Get him out of here. You're going to give me that leave, Captain. Go back to your duties. I... No. Please, Captain. What did you say? Please. <laughs> Don't pull that stuff on me. Get him out of here. I said get him out of here! Please, sir. Thank you, sir. Crew's gonna hear about this, Captain. 
Every one of them is a Bruno, you know. I don't want a crew of whining sissies with table manners. I want men! You've got men! That's your problem! If we were in combat, it would be different. These men left their homes to fight, but they never got into the war. They're in limbo, Captain, trapped between heaven and hell on a floating ten-cent store. You college officers make me puke! Doctor, see that commander's cap? I'm going to be wearing that pretty soon if I don't listen to every crybaby request that comes from down below. This ship doesn't need a foreign enemy. It's got the domestic brand aboard. The only reason I don't take you by the nap of the neck and throw you overboard is that I might need a doctor someday. That'll be all. Uh... And another fly bit the dust. Uh, come in. Oh, I was uh, looking for the doc. Oh, he'll be dropping in. Let's stick around. Um, Billings just told me about your kid and what the captain said. And I think that's the dirtiest. I don't want to talk about it, Mr. Pulver, if you don't mind. Sure. Sit down. Did I ever show you my collection? Hey, that's a Japanese bayonet. My brother John got it off one of the millions of guys he captured. He sent me that Japanese flag and some fireworks. I'm saving them to celebrate VJ Day with. Uh, my brother George is a big hero in Europe. He sent me this German Luger pistol, see? I got bullets for it. Look. Huh? Uh, sometimes I, uh, I shoot coconuts off trees. You know, on those islands where there's nothing to do. Hey, this is my art gallery. Uh, Doc calls it the Sistine Ceiling because I did it all on my back like Michelangelo. <laughs> uh, what did you want to see Doc for? Uh, to uh, help me word a message to my wife, uh, Mary. To tell her why I can't get home. Hey, I can help you, Bruno. No, no. Uh, thanks, Mr. Baldwin. After all, I'm your morale officer. Okay, Mr. Baldwin. Uh, um... How about, darling? They won't let me go. I love you, John X. Yeah. Sure, that's got class. I never thought you'd, uh... I, I mean, she like that. I had this one inside my shirt. No, no, I wouldn't dare take a drop of liquor now, Mr. Pover. Well, look, anytime you want it, you just come right in, whether I'm here or not, and have some. Hey, thanks, Mr. Pover. You're a real. Bro, did you take that sedative? It'll make you sleep. I don't want to sleep, Doc. I'm going on duty. Work up a sweat. <laughs> 